Hello friends, this video on data handling part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us think of this scenario. Let's say that the principal of your school asked your class teacher that how was the score of your class this time? Now what do you think? What is the teacher going to do? Do you think that the teacher is going to read out the entire set of data, something like this that, okay, so, so the performance of my class was somewhat like this. They scored 75, 45, 70, 70, 42, 55. Do you think he's going to do that? Or do you think that that is a wise way of uh, telling the principal how was the performance of the class? No, right? Okay, so then what should we do? Do you think that he should show this table to the principal, this entire table? Now here in this table, you just see some 9 or 10 students, but there might be some 60 students in the class. So do you think that he, he should hand over a big list of 60 students with their marks and show it to the principal? That is also not a very wise way of conveying the information. Because it is not very convenient for the principal to read out the entire list and then decide, okay, how was the performance of the class? So what should the teacher do? Is there any other smarter way of uh, telling the principal how was the score of the class? Yes, of course, there is. So what he does is he tells the average score of the class. Now, instead of telling the individual score of each student, the teacher informs the principal that the average score of the class is somewhere around say 70. That means that there might be some students who scored more than 90. There might be certain students who scored less than 50. But when you average out them, th that means what do we mean by that? We mean that if we assume that all the students of the class obtained same marks, they all obtained equal marks. In that case, we would say that each of them obtained 70. That is when we say that the average score of the class was 70. And exactly this is what the teacher does. He says that the average score of the class is 70. So this basically means that some students would have scored less than 70, some students would have scored more than 70. But if we assume everyone scored the same, then each scored 70. But actually not everybody scored same. There are students who scored 90. There are students who scored 50. But when you distribute marks evenly between all the students, then you can see that average score of the class is 70. Now, when the average score of the class is 70, the principal gets an idea about the overall performance of the class. So even though he doesn't get to know who scored 50 and who scored 90, but at least he gets to know that, okay, overall this class is performing average. That means there are certain students in the class who are not scoring that well, but at the same time, there are certain students in the class who are doing very well. Now, instead of 70, had the average score of the class been 30, that would have very clearly conveyed a message to the principal that most of the students in the class are performing bad, right? So that means the average score of the class helps to give a broader view of the score of so many students in the class. So this is where we introduce the concept of average. So when you have a huge set of data, sometimes in order to interpret or in order to get, get, get some information out of that data, instead of representing or instead of uh, indicating all the data, what we do is we just take out the average. So this is the best way for the teacher to convey to the principal about the overall performance of a class. So here we talk about arithmetic mean. So arithmetic mean is nothing but a mathematical term given for average. So it is the most common representative value of a group of data. So representative value, that means a value that is very convenient and easy to represent. And at the same time, that value conveys a meaningful information about a group of data. For example, when you looked at the score of the students, so when you say that the average score is 70, 70 actually gives you a lot of information about the scores of the students of that class. At the same time, 70 is just one single number which represents that entire group of data. 
so it is easy to represent as well so it is a most common representative value of a group of data it is also called as mean arithmetic mean or mean they mean they actually are the same thing so let us take an example so let's say that uh, these two sisters they have they have different heights so one of them is the younger sister is 128 centimeters and the elder sister is 150 centimeters so they have different heights one is taller and the other one is shorter now if i ask you what would be the average height now whenever i say average height or whenever we say what would be the mean of their heights that actually means that we are trying to say that if we assume that both of them are of equal heights in that case what would be each of their heights so how do we find out their average height sum of their heights that is 128 plus 150 divided by 2 so that means their total is being divided into two equal parts that is what we assume when we talk about average average means if we assume that everybody got equal share then what would be each person's share for example when i was talking about score i said that if we assume that all the students in the class scored equal marks in that case, the score obtained by each of them is called the average score of the class. Similarly, here if we assume that both the sisters have equal height, in that case, what will happen? The sum of their heights needs to be equally divided into two parts. So 128 plus 150, that is 278 divided by 2, which is equal to 139 centimeter. So this 139 centimeter is going to be the average height. So now when you look at 139 you see that 139 is greater than 128 and at the same time 139 is less than 150 so basically the average value is always a value which lies between the minimum value and the maximum value so it lies somewhere in between somewhere in midway between 128 and 150 so here we have considered just two numbers that is here we just considered two girls now instead of two girls let's say there are 60 students in a class and all of their heights are given and if you are asked what is the average height of the class what would you do you would sum find the sum of the heights of all students in the class divide it by the number of students in the class and that is how you can find out the arithmetic mean and there also you will find that the value of mean lies somewhere in between the minimum value and the maximum value in the set of data Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.